Following the traces of Roman heritage, the road took me to the Dalmatian hinterland to the town of Trail. My guide Sanya will present the character of Valeria and the story about Lucius, the Roman legionary who lived here in the first century. Hi! Salve! I am Valeria and this is my villa. I grew up here with my father and my childhood friend Lucius. Later on, Lucius decided to join the Roman army to the military camp of Tellurium. While I was younger, I used to study geography, philosophy and history so I could learn more about those faraway countries where Lucius left. Can you tell me something a little bit more about Valeria and Lucius? Were they a real historic persons? Well, Lucius was a real historic person. His funerary stella is kept here in the Regional Museum. Valeria uh, isn't a real historic person, but she is designed to suit the needs of this costume tour and this museum. Uh, she is based on real historical facts, so she is uh, really very credible. This tour is filled with surprises. It's exciting, it's emotional, and I truly believe that uh, every visitor will learn something new as well as uh, have a really great time. Most of the uh, exhibits in the exhibition are dated in the first half of the first century AD. Uh, Valeria is also a character from that time period, so she's very well informed about the military and social circumstances of that time period, and she can teach uh, the visitors a lot. Uh, Here is the pebble. I'd like you to write something about this adventure. The story about Lucius really got me interested, so I have to visit remains of the Tellurium, Roman legionary camp in the village garden near Trivi. During the first century, it was the residence of South Roman Legion. So can you imagine nearly 5,000 Roman soldiers have trained and lived here once upon a time? Here I am in the area of the old Roman roads in the central of Dalmatia. Now I'll go a little deeper exploring this interesting area and I'll meet Ivan who will reveal to me all the secrets that Dugopalia hides. Ivan, it's a pleasure to meet you. Where are we now? Hi, welcome to the village of Dugopolje. To anyone who comes here, it becomes quite quickly and obvious why the village got its name. Following the northern slides of Mount Mosor, there is a fertile soil which inhabitants have been cultivating for centuries. Northern from the fields is the village itself. So we are passing the stories from, from our ancestors from generation to generation. And this is our heritage actually. Those stories are personal stories. Uh, especially about mystical creatures, stories about fairies who are coming with the wind of Mosor, dancing their dance and whispering to the young boys from Dugopolje village. You don't believe in fairies? They are real, they do exist and they are part of our lives. Mosor mountain has three caves, and one of them is called King's Cave. So we had turbulent times here in, during the last past centuries, and uh, probably it was a hiding place for one of the famous people. Maybe he was a king or something. And also a cave was quite long. It's over 100 meters deep, so it could fit easily up to 100 people. Uh, are the fairies the guardians of the cave? Yes, quite correct. They were guardians and they're controlling who is entering the cave. They are dancing their dance uh, with the wind. And uh, they are very, very nice, pretty ladies in their white dresses uh, with one human and one horse leg controlling who is entering the cave. Do, do they look like a human? Almost. So half human, half horse. Uh, so should I be afraid? No, you don't have to be afraid because one priest from Dugopolje made them harmless. But uh -huh. if you are a child, you should watch over. Uh -huh. Because there's a story that one child threw a little rock uh -huh. inside a cave and hear just whisper the second stone, again, into the cave. And the fairy said, stop it. 
<laughs> the third stone inside the cane and the fairies were really, really mad. They said to the child, ne bacaj mi kamenčiće, razbičeš mi tavicu, idite tu glavicu. According to the translation, it means do not throw the stones into my cave. You will break my small pen and my child's small head. Uh-huh. Okay. Please, uh, could you write something for me on this pebble? Uh, it will be souvenir for me from this trip. Absolutely, you're very welcome. While researching trails of ancient Romans, I also came across unusual traces of local legends. I hope that you will also dare to search for the new and unexpected stories.